Definitely. Let me bring you into the, this room here. Um, the orientation is a little bit different. As you can tell, we're walking in from the toe. So this is our slimline Manhattan setup. It's got a really great aesthetic, shallow cabinetry here. So that allows you to have a shorter room length. Square footage can be expensive, probably more so in your area than here, but we're not losing on any of the, the system. In the other rooms, we walk from the 12 o'clock. Here, we're immediately looking at what potentially could be the scary stuff. So, everything is closed. Once the patient is seated, headphones, right? We give them um, the heat and chair massage. Now, I can bring that chair down, get them comfortable watching TV, and now I can deploy that second tier. Mm. It gives you a much cleaner aesthetic. We just want to make patients comfortable. We're in dentistry, so we're comfortable within the space, but many people you know, are not. The remote also, if you've ever kind of noticed the patient's down, yeah. everybody's head's over. Yeah. You give them this in the remote, they got a sense they can control what they're looking at, their comfort level. Feel free to have a seat. Jasmine or Dr. Mm -hmm. Messiah. I'll take that. Okay, so you're tall, so I'm going to adjust this headrest a little bit here for you. Thank you. Okay, and I'm going to put the chair down. How does the chair feel? I feel lovely. Thank you. Good. How's the headrest? Good. You're watching TV. Let me give you the, the massage remote. So you got your warm here. You got some presets and then the lower is the massage. So there's three presets in the massage. It's very subtle. Massage is lovely. And you said, where's the warmth? The warmth is on the top there. Um, there's three there as well. And it kind of works like a car. So it takes just a couple, like a, a minute or so before it kicks on. Are you comfortable? I am. So I have optimal light. So for a shade selection, anywhere from about 4,000 to 5,000 Kelvin here. But if we wanted to get comfy, okay, get some laughing gas here, okay, I'm fully plumb, so I can deploy that, hook everything up right from the chair here as well. But we can also kind of get things a lot more comfortable here for you. Okay. Yeah. You can shut this down all together. Okay. And oh, that light is what I was yeah. curious about. So that is adjustable, but what that allows us to do, thank you, is I can have the lights completely off, okay? And just have this on the, the, the oral cavity. I guess I the idea think, is the patient gets yeah. comfortable and then the assistant can clearly see. Yeah, see the, it gives the you maximum flexibility, right? Because the, you're gonna have providers that have different preferences, Yeah. but in, in our office, the patient is the primary, right? And then that's the secondary. So yeah, I it, like the room being dark. It's comfortable then, for the patient. Yeah, because, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if they fall asleep, fine. I'll just oh, put yeah, them out like in there, asleep, and fine. we'll keep going. You know what I mean? Especially if they're doing. So yeah, a dimmer is that a dimmer? What you have there? Mm -hmm. Okay, could you go back? The first light is what? The first light. So this is going to be on a triple switch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. First light. There you go. Is which one? Where Where is that light coming from? So that first switch is the room lighting. So your this LED right room here, lighting. Right yep. Here. Okay, what's the second light? See that behind you? Where, let me see, one more time. Okay, so that's coming from, there's a light there. Mm -hmm. okay. There's two, they're adjustable. Mm. So if you needed to tweak it, you know, cause if you have a lefty doctor near, there's two spotlights. So we have it set up. So one will shine here and one will shine there. Okay. Could you take a photo of that? The, the, the That's third light, light, right here. Huh? Where's the third light? Right. Oh, okay. And it's manual or automatic, so you can, it's on automatic right now. I can just wave my hand right in front of there. Oh, what are your thoughts about not having a light? We were just, Desmond and yeah. I were talking about that because yeah. we don't even use a light. Uh, yeah. Notice that we don't ever use yeah, a light. I think that having those two lights back there makes it easier. You, you, yeah, easier to not have a light. Yeah. There's certain offices kind of foregoing uh, the, the intraoral light. 
One thing to take into consideration is for more comprehensive care. Are you use, utilizing loops? Yeah, we okay. use loops. Well, we have a light for the for the room, but uh, we don't. We're thinking about getting rid of this overhead light, this one, mm -hmm. and using you know everything else except this. Yeah, depending on the dentistry that you do, if you're planning on doing longer comprehensive, it is still a good idea to at least in a couple of spaces have that because it will mistake proof. If somebody doesn't have their stuff charged, you know, there's additional elements to make sure everybody can be illuminated. Yeah. So we, you know, and especially if you're doing a lot of oral surgery, you know, this is going to be a lot more beneficial in comparison to, to the loops. But, you know, for non-comprehensive, there are offices doing it. We like to have that flexibility, yeah, right, yeah. for growth. And, you know, because 10 years ago, you had goals that might be a little bit different. So yeah, we're, yeah, we're yeah. constantly trying to kind yeah. of flex and give, uh, yeah, yeah. being able to add. So yeah, I was thinking Noreen doesn't use a light. He uses this light. Yeah. But, it, but you, me and Smolna never use this light. Never. Like, we never use the light. Um, interesting. But yeah, we've got to take a, what do you call this piece here? This is the Aurora light. Aurora light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just love that piece at the back there. Um, and I like turning the lights down. I, I would love that. Turning the lights down, patient can get relaxed, especially in a fast place like Manhattan. And then the system can clearly see there. Psychology of space is big for us, right? So room lighting in particular, because you're just staring at the ceiling. Right, yeah. that, that's what you're seeing. So if you had, you know, LED spotlighting, now you're just staring at the spotlighting. Where here, of course, of you kind of get that reflective and it just creates a better ambiance yeah, yeah. for the patient as well. 